The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. What's up guys, Liam Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Had Archer's Powers. This is part 11, and the last part, Izuku beat Shinso and everyone else also took down, also did as usual like in can. However, the only difference being Momo will be his next opponent than Shoto. So, that said, let's get into this. Izuku prepares to fight against Momo as he as he's wondering on how he's going to take her out as their quirks are pretty similar. The only difference is Izuku has one for all powering projection making him a lot more stronger and a lot more faster. However in this time in this well what if Momo is also a lot stronger but not just mentally but also physically as well. Seeing that she now has a worthy rival to take on, being Izuku himself. Izuku is a lot, since she never fought against anyone that could actually give her a run for her money. And she, and seeing, and in the, in the original canon, she doesn't have that much confidence in herself as well. Being, so, yeah. Well, as the match begins, Izu Izuku and Momo finally arrive in the arena with Midnight introducing them. As Izuku says, Yayorozu, tell me, why are you so interested in taking me down? I don't know why. Can you explain? As she says, because your quirk is something sim is similar to mine and also... You have something within you, some a great potential, something I lack. And if I can beat you, maybe I can understand it a lot more better, understand myself as well. As Izuku hears this, he wonder, he wants to try his best also. I, but it, he will he will give it his all in this match. He will do it his best to live up to her ex, to what. To what she sees in him. As the match begins, the two of them create their weapons. Izuku's traditional two swords, and Momo creates both not just creates a shield and a metal and a steel rod. Her usual her usual steel rod. To create to clash with the both both of them clash in the arena. Izuku is amplifying his his speed and strength with one for all full cow, but only at five percent, trying trying to keep her off guard. However, she's able to keep up pretty easily with him, with blocking each and every one of his strikes with hit with her shield, and take and encountering them with her rod. Soon after, he's. Izuku tries to switch to his bow and stores up and every shot he stores up with one for all with one for all stock power shot shooting every single shot one by one even trying to do rapid fire she gets overwhelmed she slowly does become overwhelmed however she also she starts she creates a a flash grenade and soon and blinds Izuku as she was wearing a, as she was wearing a visor to keep 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 the flash out of her eyes there she rushes at Izuku trying to creating another chain just like she did with Sero and try, and going to throw him out of the ring as Izuku as Izuku catches his eyes he creates he creates his he creates caliber a small uh a weaker version of Excalibur and fires a blast from from it to push her back. Soon after she wonders, wait, what? And, and wonders if he's 
how he's able to use that weapon without even destroying. Because she's seen on how much devastating power Excalibur has. As he says, this is Caliber, a weaker version of Excalibur. Excalibur has way too much power into it. So, this one is a limited version. You know what they say? This was the sword that was in the sword that was in the stone, chosen that chooses its king. And King Arthur was the one who who released the stone, who released the sword from the stone. So, in a way, I want to live up to this sword by becoming the number one hero by Crete. Soon after, Momo says, I see. If that's the case, I better get serious too. Soon after, she creates another. She creates another rod, and goes after Izuku. As Izuku puts away Caliburn, he also creates. He creates his swords one more time. He creates Kincho and Bakuya one one last time, and this time, he cre- he also enhances them by make by using. His projections reinforcement, just like how Shiro uses reinforcement magic. Reinforcement magic. He reinforces them and transforms them, and he transforms the bo- both the yin yang blades into long into wing long swords. As everyone's surprised seeing this, even Momo, as both of them clash, two, the two of them give it their all once more, as strike after strike. Both of them parrying each other, seeing on who could give out e- who could give out the most. Soon after, Izuku tries his best to get her off guard. Even tries to throw out a even tries to throw out a kick. However, she dodges it easily. And also Len- and also knocks him all keeps him off balance actually by hitting both of his legs. Keep knocking him down. And she says, Give up, Midoriya. It's over now. As he says, Sure about that? He creates a sword. He creates a Bakia sword from behind him. Behind him. And throws it. And throws it on the ground. It explodes due to the unstable stock power that he put into it. Soon after, he backs up with both the swords, saying that, She's really good. I don't know if I can win this like win like this. Soon soon after he decides to to give it everything he's got by increasing one for all full cow to up to 10% power, wondering if he can if it can st- if his body can stand up to that much power. Soon a- he get as Momo tries to think of another plan. She wonders if she can probably use a chain. She can probably create something better. Possibly even a whip. A whip to, to tie him up. And then keep... However, while she's thinking this, everyone begin. As she's thinking this, Izuku was already in front of her. She tries to guard, but it's already too late. He knocks her way back, but not ring out. But didn't have a ring out just yet. And she wonders... How did you? He says, "Looks like I got. Looks like I had to boost my speed up a little faster." Sorry, Ayurozu, but I'm not going down so easily. Soon after, after all of this, after that, Izuku tries. She want she. She tries going at him, rushing at him one one last time, but instead he. He caught, he catches her off guard once more with his enhanced, with his speed being a lot faster, and his power being a lot more devastating. With both with his reinforced swords too, he's basically a lot stronger. Wondering if she can even counteract him. Soon after, both her rods basically, both her both her metal rods basically break after so much after so so many strikes from. From those swords, and then he create. Then Izuku tries to go in for the no- for, to, for the knockout blow, but then instinctively she creates two sharp katanas without even trying, and both sword 
and the two swords actually block her. Actually blocked Izuku's last strike to knock her out. She's actually surprised seeing this and looking. Looking, wondering how she even did this. As Izuku's also surprised as well. Wondering, whoa, I'm, that's, whoa. I didn't know you could even create swords. Soon after, Momo realized, during her training, Momo always tried to create wep create sharp base weapons like swords, knives, and all of and anything like that, but always struggled. Being that it's t having too many materials and so many weapons made from different metals and alloys, she wondering if she can even tr if she can even do it. Because of that, she felt inferior to Izuku, feeling like he can create weapons without even trying. That's why she sees him as a rival. She sees him as the perfect opponent. But now she finally did, maybe unconsciously, but still. As Izuku said, all right, maybe it's a better time to finally use this. Soon after he puts, a, he, the, the blades turn back to normal and he sends them, and he puts them on the floor, on the ground. There, he creates another sword, a long katana, a long sword based katana, with the edge so sharp, it looks like it even cut through the air itself. As he says, you've ever heard of the Masamune sword, Yayorozu? The sword, ma a sword made to, that can cut through basically anything. I want this sword, I made this sword, to cut through my future. And, I, and I'm the one who decides how I, how, I see, how I see it. That's what this sword symbolizes. Soon after, Yairosu says, well then, I guess I had to be the one to cut, to cut, your, to cut, your own, cut my future as well and cut your future away. There, the two of them clash once more. The sword as steel against steel, blade against blade. Not only that, Momo's speed also increased unconsciously as she's actually feeling an intense rush of adrenaline through her. Feeling like she's, feeling like she's moving faster than normal when, she, when, she's, when she's actually pushing past her limits. With Izuku also doing the same thing, One For All is also getting, he's increasing One For All bit by bit, one number after another. He was at 10%, now he's actually at 15, at 50%, at 15%, getting his muscle, his muscle and speed getting faster. As both swords find, basically are now, are now clashing to see as see who's fat, who's stronger as Mo as Momo lets go of both the swords and creates a metal rod basically putting Izuku off guard and tries to jab him with and tries to jab him into the chest with the rod not trying to knock him down and knock him out however an ex an explosion energy of one for all Bait consume, consumes the area, wondering on what happened, basically putting her off guard with both so with her katana swords basically break, basically now on the ground. Izuku moves fast as he feels like his bone just like his knee, like his well knee just basically gave out, but he still moves forward even with the pain and and around and when the dust settles Izuku's Masamune was already near Momo's neck with, with telling her to give up with saying she basically saying she surrenders she forfeits as the winner is Izuku Izuku Midoriya with everyone cheering seeing on how surprised the match was Izuku and as Momo feels a little bit down, that she get that she tried giving it her all, and yet even her all wasn't enough to beat him. He he puts he actually raises his hand and says, 
Good match, Yairozu. You almost gave me a run for my money. You really are strong. And an amazing, an amazing person, too. She begins, she actually begins blushing a little bit, wondering if it's, and her heart's also begin starting to race a little bit. But she puts that aside and just, and intercepts his hand with a handshake saying, yes, thank you, Midoriya. As her hand begins racing again and starts blushing with Izuku also blushing a little bit too because he's actually touching a girl because he never actually has before at all. Soon after, everything goes as usual. Other matches began going on with match between Shoto and Shirazu with Shoto winning, freezing her, he- freezing her vines and hair and, uh, and so on. And other matches go as canon as usual. As as everything as Izuku is planning on fighting against Shoto in the final in the semifinals, who would win in this one? And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I really had fun making this one because it felt like two two skilled weapon users were going at it, and I wanted to try my best to make this one enjoyable. That said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Leon Moki. Signing out. Later.